Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a backup on your MacBook Air M4. And there are two ways of doing that. The first one is to iCloud. The second one is to an external drive using Time Machine. So at first, I'm going to show you the iCloud backup, which is most in most cases done automatically, um, but you can enable or disable that. Um, and it doesn't back up like everything fully bad, it backs up most of the things, all of the settings and um, everything that you selected to back up. So let's go to the system settings. Now we just need to get to the um, Apple account at the top, so just click on your name. Now go to iCloud and here uh, another disadvantage is that it has only 5 gigabytes of storage for free. Uh, so it'll only back up as much as you can. Um, you just need to click on seal here. Then select the things that you want to save here. So it's just all up to you then that's basically everything what's gonna be saved not too much but if you want to back it up to an external drive just plug it in it can be a usb drive or external hard drive whatever mm, i'm using just a usb stick i'm plugging it in right now to the usb c port then i'm just gonna allow the accessory to connect it's 64 gigabytes but i think it'll work because it doesn't really make a difference since um, I, it's a brand new la uh, MacBook so I don't have any data on it honestly. I just need to go to the um, launcher and find the time machine probably in the other folder. So um, okay it's here. Now I'm gonna click on setup time machine, add backup disk I'm gonna select this one, set up disk, then mm, before that maybe let's um, erase my USB drive. So in order to do it I need to go to also the other folder in launcher and find the disk utility. Now go to the mm, drive so this is my drive, I'm gonna click on Erase and um, I'm just gonna select the macOS Extended Erase. Okay, now I'm gonna click on Done. I'm gonna close that. Then in the settings, in the general of course, Go to the Time Machine or just go to the Time Machine app, add backup disk, select that one, set up disk. Then you can encrypt that backup um, and I'm going to en encrypt it with a password so no one else can use it without the password. Let's enter that, re-enter and the hint is required. As we can see, so I'm just gonna set like then you can also set a disk usage limit. I'm gonna just click on done. Now it's preparing that disk for a backup. Now it's waiting to backup. You can see this is the drive. You can also add another drive uh, for time machine. You can also go, go to the options to um, set up a backup frequency. Then also if you want to backup on battery power and if you want to exclude something from backups. Um, now I'm gonna set it up to manually. Click on done. Then I'm just gonna um, Let's 
go to the time machine. And now you can see that in time machine I can see uh, different backups from the past. Um, so I can restore from them. And that's basically it and it'll start probably backing up now. Yes, it is so. I'm just gonna wait until it backs up. It's gonna be pretty quick since I don't really have any important data uh, since it, the laptop was just set up. And now you can see that the backup was just done. Um, I don't really know how to trigger backup manually, honestly. Uh, okay, with this button, so if you have Time Machine set up, you'll have this button on the status bar. You can just click on backup now whenever you want, or you can go back to options and set it to do that automatically every hour. Of course, if it does that every hour, it won't really um, update every uh, like everything, just the things that have been changed. So if you just get a new file, delete something, it'll um, update it every hour. Um, and that's really great. Later on, of course, uh, <coughs> as, you might, uh, as you may notice, when you get to the time machine, you can either find these previews backups so you can see like from different dates how did that look you can get to that data and see them in like right now or you can um, restore it later from the recovery from the macOS recovery so if you don't know how to enter macOS recovery there is a video on our channel on how to do it Mm, and that will help you to restore from backup later. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.